Okay, welcome back. Um, I may have found a solution to my problem with what to do with the little crumbs of energy I was getting out of the uh, lunch box using the blue plate right there that's inside to collect uh, stray energy that was flying around inside that box. What I came up with was a vacuum. And what I did is I took the uh, pulsed uh, energy coming out of the box it's going through a SCR with a neon trigger to pulse it into a super cap. It's a 5 volt uh, 20 farad super capacitor. And then it's going into a half dead 10 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack. It's holding about 5 volts. And then I'm putting it into an SSG just to show what it can do. Uh, Bedini SSG that's got regulated low power. Um, option on it and it's got uh, small charge batteries on it and this is the uh, little SSG I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos but it's a um, it's a voltage regulated uh, Bedini SSG that has a voltage regulator right there that uh, is a step down uh, switching regulator that's 90 percent efficient as uh, opposed to the normal voltage regulators but the uh, battery pack here was uh, the find. Was this thing drained down? And when it drained down, I found out that it would take the energy out of that supercapacitor and suck it into that. These batteries don't like to stay discharged. They're nickel metal hydrides, and they want to come back. They want to bounce back. And I found out that the uh, the little pulsar circuit that I rigged up from the uh, lunch box. Um, would let that go into there and that was a big find but basically here's my setup I've got the the bulbs are running both uh, CFLs there's my current draw right now and you can see it's just about nothing and that's because I've got it plugged into the wall now that's a 500 milliamp um, 12 volt wall transformer that I've got it plugged into and watch what happens when I unplug it. You'll see the amount of draw on this system. That's what's happening. That's with it unplugged right there. That's with nothing on it. So I'm going to leave that unplugged. And it's just running on the, the um, lithium batteries over there. And that's my amp draw. It's 230, something like that, 230, 240 um, milliamps, 230, 240 milliamps. Um, got the bridge rectifier. The earth ground is coming in right there, going into the bridge rectifier. And then uh, the plates inside the box here, the blue plate. I've got the little ignition coil capacitor, which uh, I think is like 300, 400 volt, but very low microfarad. It charges up real quick. And then uh, I've got it pulsed with the SCR and the neon. And it's going into the super cap. And that's a 5 volt. 20 farad bunch of super capacitors there and there's the uh, the voltage that's on this little system which is this half dead battery pack and that capacitor pack is holding that down okay so these two work together in like a dance and there's the Bedini SSG that I'm going to plug in in just a second and I've got a little radio here to hear my SSG because it doesn't make any noise. So I'm going to turn this on so you can hear it. Makes a little noise. And you have to start a, a Bedini SSG. You have to get them going. So let me get this uh, ready here and I'll plug it in. This is the, the drive. Now I don't have the charged batteries hooked up. I wanted to run the demonstration without these hooked up just so you you would know that there's nothing going on with the batteries on the back end. Okay, now this is going to start to draw down as I turn the Bedini SSG on here. And here it starts to rev up. And there goes my voltage. It's drawing down from both the battery and the supercapacitor, they're together. Like I say, those um, batteries are just about down completely. Okay, now I'm going to turn this down. See, that's, that's draining down there. 
And there's the SSG running. And she's running away. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the Bedini SSG. I'm going to turn it off. But what we're going to do is watch this voltage. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the load. And now this is where the rebound is coming in. This thing is rebounding. And it's, I believe, a vacuum created in there. And the energy is being sucked from that little bit of energy through that super cap back into the battery. And this will continue to climb right on up methodically and it'll go right up there to that five something volts which is where that supercapacitor wants to be but anyway this is something I found did work it was a way to get the energy coming out of that uh, blue plate special into a battery it was make the battery like a vacuum do it that way there's one other thing I wanted to show here while I had this set up was um, I'm going to turn this back on, let this charge up just a little bit more, and show you what these supercapacitors can do. My most popular video that I posted was this little motor here being run by those supercapacitors. And that is a, a very interesting phenomena of what these supercapacitors can do and they emulate a battery and of course I've got this voltage regulator which holds the voltage down about three volts is what I've got this dialed into about three volts runs about 50 milliamps at three volts okay I'm going to turn this back on now turn the Bedini on Plug the battery. And there's the Bedini running away. There's the super cap bleeding down. There's the Bedini running. And that's just a demonstration of what you can do with a supercapacitor and a Bedini SSG. I'm going to put this on again and let this thing go back to where it was. And watch this. Now the supercapacitor is rebounding. It's pulling energy out of the battery and it's also pulling energy out of the blue plate special. So I've got double, double whammy going on here. Everything's trying to go back to where it wants to be. And this will all come back somewhere around five to six volts. It may take it a while, but it'll balance itself back out. But anyway, that's my experiment for this evening um, with this um, vacuum coming from a half-dead battery.